Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim. This is Yah Batizah with GMS here as Higher Servants. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. All right, I was coming back with the video, man, just going over some uh, some of the foods and how we're here in the land of America, which is known as uh, Babylon, Sodom, or Egypt, uh, which America means uh, bitter in the Latin, amargo. And this is a bitter place because when you put your mind to want to try and when you put your mind to want to try to eat healthy, it, it becomes hard because um, to eat healthy, you have to make a good amount of money. Um, also, if you have problems going on in the world, you know what I'm saying, like bills and stuff like that, kind of knocks you off that path and, and, and things of that nature. But Yahweh Shemiah has, has given certain things to us to where we can still fill ourselves with, with, with proper nutrients and things of that nature. Uh, if you brothers see right here, I got the, the almonds to the right and then I got pistachios to the left. And I'm basically just going to speak about the uh, almonds and how it's going it, to, it, just eating five or seven almonds a day will uh, improve your um, brain functioning and many more uh, benefits but I want to jump into to some scriptures to prove my point what I say is is how it's hard in this land but how almonds and pistachios nuts in general are easily are easy uh, and, and, and affordable to consume throughout the whole day um, instead of snacking on chips and whatever you may be snacking on try try just doing uh, nuts man all right, but uh, I want to jump into the scriptures real quick. This is in the book of Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Right, and that's what's happened. In today's society, we have the internet to, to prove those things when we do our research about certain food products that they put out in stores and in these fast food restaurants, these chains that they got out here. They're, they're, they're nothing but poison, man. All right, so we have to be diligent, and that's one of the things I want to get into in the word almond too, because it goes back to being diligent. All right, so um, that's the point, man. That's one of the points I wanted to bring out, starting first and foremost, that Yahweh Shimei was shy. Since he went off, we're going to be eating defiled bread in the land of the Gentiles. All right, which is uh, this is their kingdom right now, so that's what it is. Now I'm gonna go to. The book of Daniel, was in chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Who's this man? This is the uh, the nation of Edom, the Edomites, also known as the so-called white men, the Caucasians. All right, but you, it's not about color, but uh, you got, you, you'll have dark-skinned Edomites. You, you'll have Edomites that look like a uh, 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 Negro today, all right? But it says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. They shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Right, so he shall wear out the saints of the Most High, man. How does he do that? By putting hard bondage upon us, man. All right. Putting, take it, having us go to work long long hours and, 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 and things of that nature, man. Bills were subject to payments. All right. Uh... You know, we may have children and it becomes harder to uh, be able to live that lifestyle. But through the, through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, He'll give you the, uh, the means to, to be able to do those things, man. And like I said, almonds is very is a very powerful nut that you can be uh, uh, consuming, man, to help you with, uh, with all types of different benefits. But my primary one is to, to go into the, uh, the functioning of the brain. And how the word almond goes back to being watchful, all right. But that's the that's the situation that we're in, man. We're we're in the land of our captivity, which is America, man. The house of bondage, spiritually known as Egypt, all right. Which that's what it means, house of bondage, all right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me go from here to bringing up that uh, that word in the blue letter Bible. Almond and showing you because it goes back to the Hebrew word uh, 
Shakat, I believe. Give me one second to bring it up. Alright, now let me see here. So I'm coming over here, I'm looking up on another phone. All right. But come on, man, you know, the almonds, all you got to really do is just eat five or seven of them. But if you want to eat more, you can. You know what I'm saying? We, we all know that we have to do everything in a, in a, in a balance, you know. But uh, I don't know if this phone's going to work, man. You know, Satan is... Always trying to hinder hinder something from going out, man. But uh, Khan, let me go ahead and uh, just prove also that these the almond is a very uh good uh food product, man. All right, this is uh Genesis chapter forty nine when the famine was in the land uh before the Israelites or the you know. The, the 12 the 11 sons went into Egypt all right it says uh, Genesis 43 and 11 and their father Israel said unto them if it must be now so do this take of the best fruits of the land in your vessels and carry down the man a pres a present a little balm and a little honey spices myrrh nuts and almonds so almonds is, is, is one of the best of the fruits of the land, man. All right. It's a very good uh, fruit to have. All right. Okay, I'm going to go right here to my sword. It goes right here. It says uh, Strong's H8247, uh, Shakad, right? Almond tree, almonds, almond, the nut, almond tree. All right, it says origin from H8245. Let's go there. All right, it says Shakad to, to wake, watch, awake, be alert, to keep watch of, be what, wakeful over, to be wakeful, wake as mourner or sufferer. Then you go come down here to the strong definition to be alert, that is sleepless, hence to be. On the lookout, whether for good or ill, hasten, remain, wake, watch, watch for. You see, so that's what almond means, man. The way you say almond in the Hebrew is shakad, which basically is telling us, and it's going to help us to uh, be watchful, to, and it's going to help us with our brain function and things of that nature. All right, brothers that may have problems with uh, memory, you know, uh, 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 memory loss or short, long term short long-term memory loss you know eat, eat some nuts man and also it, it's it's good for like fiber your, your stomach man it helps you pro it's good protein and things of that nature but it's, it's a very powerful uh nut that we the yahweh yahweh has given us on the land all right of course you got your pistachios your cashews peanuts all right your sunflower seeds and things of that nature but you want all those to be raw all right not salted or, or sweetened or nothing like that all right so i'm gonna come right here it says do almonds really boost your brain power so it's an article you know uh you know it says almonds contain a host of healthy nutrients that not only benefit overall health but also is known to boost specific brain functions almonds are moderately rich in lean protein protein not only gives you a boost of energy but also helps repair brain cells thus improving cognitive functions including memory you see so we in order to be watchful you have to have a good diet you have to be in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, ultimately all right but Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give you that that spirit to be on your on your watch all right but it's a way to help just keep yourself energized and things of that nature just by eating you know almonds throughout the day all right since you know it's hard to get get a hold of greens you can't eat your your proper greens throughout the day 
I grab some nuts, man. Grab some almonds, pistachios. You go to H E B and just buy it by the pound, or you can buy it less than a pound. You know, I buy it less than a pound, and it lasts me throughout the whole week. So, you know, I grab like a handful of each, throw them in a little container, and that's what I do throughout the whole day. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna go over here to um, Sirach 30, 30 and 21. Give not over thy mind to heaviness and afflict not thyself in thy own counsel. And that's what Esau knows. He knows that, you know, how to uh, break a man's so, uh, spirit is by putting heavy bondage upon him. All right. But the Yahweh Shem Yahweh is telling us right here not to uh, give ourselves over to heaviness because that is what can break you from wanting to live healthy and things of that nature. It says, The gladness of the heart is the life of man, and the joyfulness of a man. Give me one second. It says, uh, "The joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days." Right? It's, it's it's a beautiful thing that we can be able to eat the the good foods and of the earth and 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 have a healthy life and a healthy body, and also it benefits our spirit. Love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee, for sorrow hath killed many, and there is no profit therein. Right? And I'm one of those that. That sorrow is heavily upon me, man. But you know, through the spirit and power y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai, each brother has their own lot. And it's gotta keep pushing and looking forward to the kingdom, man. Until then, we're gonna be here. You know? It says the uh surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. But in the midst of that, we have to maintain ourselves. Alright? It says envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness bringeth age before the time. And Esau knows that, man. That's why he lays those heavy yokes of, of, of iron upon us to the, to, to the modern day uh, slavery to the plantations that we have to go to work six to uh, six, you know, from, from before the, the sun rises to the sun sets, you know what I'm saying? So he knows that, man. And he knows that stress is a number one killer amongst Jake, you know, and then the, us eating the bad, unhealthy foods. It says, a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You know, so everything's a balance. You know, every, every now and then you eat your meat, eat your greens, your nuts, you know, your uh, things of that nature, man. So, again, man, you know, I just wanted to bring that out. I hope it was edifying, brothers. You know, again, give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers, after doing the work of sincerity and truth. Until next time, Shalom.